What up, YouTube? It's Cherim here. Wow, it's actually been so long since I've talked on here. But, uh, Mario Kart DLC. I'm kidding. I'm, like, actually really hyped for this. and <laughs> uh, But some people aren't. But I am, and that's all that matters, because only my opinion matters. In all seriousness, though, you know how it is. Every time a new announcement is announced, I always got to go through the salt videos. So, yeah, you know how it is. Let's get started. So the announcement from Nintendo says that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is going to be getting a DLC pack with 48 new courses, and it is $25, which is actually a pretty good deal. $25 for all of them. And they're going to come in individual waves, each wave having eight courses. So that's honestly a really good deal, but I can understand the frustration that people have because I know many people did want Mario Kart 9. Although I think in the long run this is kind of better because it's cheaper and it kind of keeps the game alive more. And I think Nintendo's probably aiming for Mario Kart 9 to be a next-gen console title. I don't know, that's kind of the vibe I get. But let's see how people react to this. And also Nintendo said that this will also come with the Switch Online expansion, which I think, okay, I guess it makes it slightly more valuable, but not by much. The thing is still a ripoff. <laughs> I don't know. I'm no longer a Nintendo fan. This was by far the worst Nintendo Direct yet. I've been loyal for 30 plus years, but alas, my time to leave has come. I'm taking my support to a company who has quality products and can't support frauds any longer. <laughs> I think this is a copy boss. I, I don't think it's true. Nintendo, I will have to say this is by far the most disappointing and shameful Direct I've seen in the past 10 years. I'll be switching to Xbox, where real gamers game and real gamers have fun. Oh my, oh my gosh, all the copy bosses, man. And I'm, I I'm, wouldn't even be surprised if uh, people fell for these. Also known as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Deluxe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're never getting a new game, huh? <laughs> Waluigi drinking his tears. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they hyped us up with a new Mario Kart announcement only to give us paid DLC for a near decade old game. D did they hype us up? Did Nintendo say anywhere that we're getting a new Mario Kart game? They kind of just dropped this without any warning. Nintendo didn't say anything. So what do you mean that they hyped us up? Where are you getting that from, Mr. Beb? If you're angry about no Mario Kart 9, just call this DLC Mario Kart 9. It's more courses than an actual Mario Kart game anyways. Like seriously, it's 48 courses for $25. And they're all existing, which I guess some people did want new ones, but existing courses, I don't know. That's a pretty good deal, honestly. Y'all said, nah, forget Mario Kart 9, here's Mario Kart 8-2. But seriously though, this practically doubles the game's total courses. Did not expect DLC to that extensive. They really want to sell Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack. Hey, to be fair, this is a very enticing addition to the expansion pack. If they keep adding stuff like this for no extra cost, it'll definitely help add value. Plus, it's not exclusive to the pack, so people can buy this separately. Yeah, guys, it's... You don't have to buy the pack still. I don't know, like... Yeah, some people... Some people I notice in these comments are missing key details. There's a lot of people that are saying it's $25 per wave, which it's not. It's, that's... No, that's not the case. Me, happy at the sight of 48 new courses as DLC. Others asked for... New Nintendo Kart and Knuckles ODST Deluxe Director's Cup Final Mix featuring Dante from the Me Devil May Cry series and with new Funky Mode. Yeah. <laughs> That's what people want. I'm actually so disappointed that they decided to go for a Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC instead of making a new game. Y'all could have just made these and put them in a new game instead of adding them to a game that's almost 10 years old. They're obviously still making another game. I almost guarantee it's been in development. This is probably a little side thing till the next console. <laughs> Uh, I appreciate the optimism, Mr. or Mrs. Ultimate Break 82, but I don't, I don't know if that's the case. They're releasing 48 tracks through 2023. We're not getting a new game until these waves are done. Yeah, I, it's true. Yeah, but they're still definitely developing the other game. These tracks seriously might already be done. Maybe, I don't know. Nintendo is by far the worst for cash grabs. Literally, what, what, that, that's not a cash grab. It's it's under half the price for the original game. How's that a cash grab? It would be a cash grab if it was like 40 to $60. It's $25. It's an entire game's worth of concept for less than half the price of one. 
See, the backwards logic. I don't understand people. Me thinking a Mario Kart sequel is going to be announced. Dude, 25 euros for 50 tracks. Bro, Mario Kart 8 is like 7 years old, and some of these tracks are like 20 plus years old. It's cool, don't get me wrong, but why not just make a new game with this DLC like Ultimate? It's not even all coming at once. This is Nintendo, not some small company. Our expectations were low, but holy... Mm -hmm. 50 tracks for $25, but you'll pay $60 for 30 I don't know, man. My expectations were well met. Serious question, where does it come from that's $25 for all tracks and not per pack? Uh, the, the trailer? See what I mean how people didn't pay attention? I think people just saw the Mario Kart 8 DLC, and instead of, like, saying, like, trying to get a feel of how it was, they just automatically assume, you know, it's 25 for each. They're, like, missing key details. Do people genuinely believe Mario Kart 9 was gonna get revealed? Skullface, I did. Ouch. They always believe whenever a direct happens. That's not true. I think it was only this direct where people was kind of going crazy about it. Have paid DLC and what's meant to be the definitive edition of Mario Kart game is wrong. It's actually free if you have the online expansion pass. As soon as you stop paying for the pass, you lose access to the tracks. That's not free, that's paying a fee to be loaned them. And pay the 25 euros then, or pounds then. And I won't be doing that either. I haven't enjoyed Mario Kart 8 in years, this isn't going to change my mind. Uh, well, to be fair, the DLC has come out six years after the game came out. So it's clear that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's initial release was supposed to be the definitive edition, but I guess this was decided more recently. Like, of course they didn't think about this until the game, when the game originally came out. Thought it was lazy at first, but 48 courses by the end of 2023? Yeah, honestly, fair play, Nintendo. I'll wait for Mario Kart 9 longer. However, including Mario Kart Tour tracks does seem lazy as hell, though. Jeez, I don't understand the hate for Mario Kart Tour. Like, I get it, it's a gacha game, it's annoying. But, like, it has genuinely good new tracks, and the person re person replying understands. Mario Kart Tour's courses are actually pretty good, so I'm glad they're making their way to a real Mario Kart game. It'd be nice to get some of the new characters from Mario Kart Tour as well, though. This I agree with. I, I would It would be nice if there's, like, Diddy Kong, Funky Kong. I hope we get, like, some new characters, honestly. But if I wanted to play them tracks, I'd go on my phone and play them. Well, you will... The Taurus tracks are on rotation, so you might not get to play them. It'd actually be nice to always have these Taurus up. And can we please get in Vancouver Velocity? I love Vancouver Velocity. That's like my favorite course. Oh my gosh. Favorite tour original course. Mario Kart Taurus tracks are only available for a season until the next one with that track comes. Then being on a full Mario Kart is honestly better. Yeah, agree. Also, please, Vancouver Velocity. I really want this. Basically, if you wanted all six waves at the end of 2023, you would have to pay up about $150. That's not true. Literally, it's all of them for $25. Like, people really didn't pay attention. Like, I wish people would, like, fact-check themselves before posting this on social media where everyone can see. Pay DLC for a five-year-old port. Big L, release Mario Kart 9 at this point. Mario Kart 9 wouldn't even be that different. This DLC essentially puts in the tracks that would feature anyway. You know, surprisingly, there's a lot of positivity with Mario Kart 8's DLC. Because every time someone complains, there's usually people that shut it down. Which is kind of nice, I guess. Me when they announce Mario Kart paid DLC. Me when they say Coconut Mall will be included. <gasps> yep, felt that. Guess which one came from 2015? It's excusable laziness. Uh, okay, uh... It does look a little less polished, but maybe that's just how it looks right now because they're showing in the trailer. Even then, it doesn't look that bad. Like, I don't think it's terrible. I think people are just trying to find a way to complain. Paid DLC is coming to hashtag Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with 48. Yeah, yeah, you know the jazz. This is the Reddit. Now we're on Reddit now. An eight year old game getting DLC, and the courses look like they're being made for the mobile game. I'm not impressed. The ones shown are straight from the mobile game. Uh, I think they, they, I think they made it nicer a little bit. Spending 80 CAD on the base game plus maybe 30 CAD more for 48 tracks, so basically 110 CAD for the full experience. Yikes! Would ra def rather have a new, new game instead. Having bought Mario Kart 8 Deluxe years ago, this make this much easier stomach power makes this much easier. I don't even know what they're trying to say. A brand new game would be $60 for 48 courses. You're getting 98 courses in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for 
I guess it's just me having both played both the Switch and the Wii U version at launch. I'm a bit tired of the mechanics and I want something new. I personally would take less tracks in a new game that have brand new tracks instead of remade ones and some new mechanics when it comes to the racing. Honestly, I can kind of agree there. I also got Mario Kart 8 on Wii U and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on Switch, which I'm streaming tonight, so if you're watching this tonight, go follow my Twitch, it's in the description, hint, hint, but I can understand that. You know, Mario Kart 8's, it's almost been, it's been eight years since the Mario Kart 8 on Wii U, so I can understand wanting something new, honestly. I'm stoked to play for maps for an eight-year-old game. You're not required to buy it. I know that, but if you figure that making a new entry in the franchise after eight years would be the smart move instead of making people pay almost half the price of the game for some more maps. Uh... Yeah, I mean, 48's a half ton of maps. That's more than Mario Kart 8 released. So do you really think they would release 48 courses in Mario Kart 9? So you're complaining that Nintendo made playing the new courses cheaper. Think about it. If we were getting Mario Kart 9, you'd be shelling out $60 to play 32 new courses, whereas now you're spending $35 less to play 48. Like, seriously, I don't understand the backwards logic really behind this. Disappointing. $85 for recycled Mario Kart content after 8 years if you bought the game on release. Guess Mario Kart fans have to keep waiting. The inclusion of Nintendo Switch Online Plus was a nice for late adopters. Really? Wait, wait. That's the part you're fine with? The inclusion for Nintendo Switch Online Plus. That, 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 that doesn't even no, that doesn't even make that pet thing more worth it, honestly, bro. Am I the only one that really ain't annoyed by this? This game had been out for five years and it's already the deluxe version of the game that came out eight years ago. $25 for 48 remastered courses. What a joke just to make a new game FFS. Edited out some for accurate number and new for remastered. What else would a new game bring other than courses? Seriously, 48 new, new courses some to you? They're not new, they're remastered old courses. No new content at all. Well, that's still new content, considered technically. That's still content. Wh what? $25 is a lot for to add on onto their, one of their first waves of games, especially if it's not actually new content. I, I don't get the logic here. People complain and cry about this. If you were paid a crap ton of money at your business, for copying and pasting a product slash service, but people still buy your product and profit greatly, would you just seize business altogether and move on to a new venture? Look at the sales of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and people are seriously blaming Nintendo for milking the game. It's business. Nothing personal against such degenerates. Mario Kart 9 is the next title. Next gen title. Accept it. Yeah, honestly, I that's what I said earlier. I really genuinely believe Mario Kart 9 will be a next gen title. People shouldn't be disappointed because it's good business. You understand that developers slash the company have different interests than the players, but you somehow conclude that the business interests are right and the consumer interests are wrong. It's in their best interest, it makes perfect sense. Oh, it's on your best interest? Stop complaining. Like, do you not see the double standard? Uh, yeah, I guess they're bo both people are right in this argument, honestly. <laughs> okay, Dancing Chromosome says, This is so embarrassing. Why is everyone excited? They're charging $25 for 48 courses. Absolutely ridiculous. So... Based on all the replies, I think they were saying $25 each, because I, if all the replies has them correcting this person, it's $25 for 48 courses. I don't want to be mean, but did you not already see the 10 replies to me correcting me? I've already edited my comment. I don't want to be mean, but did you not see how your original post is in fighting people to troll you by complaining that people are replying to tell you it's $25 for all 48 courses? Do you think it's a coincidence that you're up to like 15 replies telling you that? And literally, look, 28 for 48 courses. I thought it was 25 for 48 courses. The whole 48 course thing is $24.99. Mate, did you read or anything, listen to anything they said about the price? It's $25 for all 48. It's 25 for 48 courses. $25 is for 48 tracks. $25 for all 48 courses. It's 25 bucks for 20. <laughs> yeah, poor guy, honestly. Pretty sure it's $25 for all 48 courses, $25 calls, covers all waves, $25 for 48 courses. That's still stupid. There are old courses that no one cares about anymore. What? <laughs> Nobody cares about Coconut Mall. Yeah, okay. It was a waste of time to master all the old courses from the old games when that time could be spent making a new game. We don't really need a new game. Mario Kart is excellent as it is and doesn't need replacing. Yeah, you know the statement, don't fix what's already broken. Or, did I say that? No, that's not correct. It's... Don't fix what's not broken. 
I mean, some people don't fix what's already broken, but you know what it is, honestly. No one cares about the sales numbers will prove you wrong. People will buy it, of course, because there's no other new content for Mario Kart. Essentially, people did not want remastered courses. They wanted a new game. You wanted a new game. Like, literally, your opinion does not apply to everyone else's. And I wanted a new game, too, but I'm actually fine with this. I think this, honestly, is a better deal. This is a full Mario Kart game inside of a Mario Kart game for half the price. Seems fair to me. Literally. I don't see how that's a whole Mario Kart game when it's still the same game mechanics, roster of characters, and etc. It's just new courses which aren't even new. I'm not sure what they can actually do to the mechanics, I'd rather them stick with what works. Exactly. Like, why change what's not broken? Rose roster of characters. Sure, I would love to see more, but Rosalina's there and she'd be my main Mario Kart 9 anyway, so no change for me there. Okay, they could still bring on Funky Kong. The course will be remixed, and the tour one's actually playable, so that's something. Okay, well, what do you mean actually playable? Like, they're playable in the mobile game. It's not that they're not playable. Like, what do you mean by that? Nintendo releases a new Mario Kart game with 32 courses. OMG, this is so amazing! Nintendo releases 48 courses to an existing game as DLC and said, WTF, Nintendo? Honestly, my only reason why I'm mad is because I already bought the really once for the Wii U and I didn't fancy spending 50 pounds for a game I already completed 100%. Now I gotta spend like 70 pounds to get these new tracks. Like, I get it, but it's a sting a little. Another gentle reminder to every Wii U owner to how bad their decision was. I'm already gonna buy the game used. No way I'm gonna spend 85 euros on a game that, which I already bought. What a garbage take, lol. It's not a garbage take, because if it was, I wouldn't be making this video. <laughs> yeah, little Trotto Stano person looking. I can't believe people are complaining about this. This is so freaking awesome. It's a game that came out in 2014 and still costs $60. Forking over even more money just doesn't sit right to me. Dancing Chromosome, you're back, I see. You're on a Nintendo subreddit, which means fanboys will justify the most disgusting business practices. Uh, you know you actually kind of make a point there. You know how it is. What's disgusting about this, though? It just sounds like you just want to be mad and piss on people's parade. Yeah, literally. Come on. They're both right, honestly. Forking over $25 for double the content doesn't sit right with you? Would you rather they release the 48 tracks as a standalone $60 game? You are actually going to pay $150. If you had listened closely, you would have understood better. Like, seriously, people didn't pay attention. It's kind of crazy. Ah! Alright, so r slash tomorrow, which is a subreddit that kind of, uh... It's like Nintendo Circle Jerk subreddit. I don't, I don't know how else to put it. They said, you have to be joking. Why? Why just let's not make a new Mario Kart? What the... Mm? IKR! It's almost as many courses as a new game. It's astonishing how little they know what fans want. Bro, I'm fucking happy with this. I don't know, Nintendo didn't really know what fans want. I don't think Coconut Ball will be in Wave 1. They, they, know, they know people like that track. Literally, most fans are happy with this. It's less money for more courses. What's the negative? Literally, I, I, I see most people happy with this. Yeah, all the people saying that they're fine with this DLC for a game that came out in 27 is bonkers. Well, sorry. I love how you were validating people like us. Show how effing lazy Nintendo, 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 Nintendo. <laughs> that was a mouthful. I would much rather wait to get a new Mario Kart game than pay 25 bucks per wave of DLC to get effing tracks from the older Mario See, they didn't pay attention! God, it's actually bothering me. No, wait, that's the Switch expansion pass. And yeah, I realize this isn't 25 per wave, thank god, but I still wouldn't have been surprised if Nintendo actually did it. I... okay, Nintendo is pretty bad. I will admit that with some of their prices, but that's that's just ro straight robbery. They wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that. I know they wouldn't do that. Like, that's just... that would actually deter people from buying it. That would literally deter people from buying it. Nintendo's not stupid. Either way, not gonna pay money for old content, old game that's labeled new, but they could've just made a new game for the series. Yeah, that's how it is. DLC for a five-year-old game? Lamau, just make a new one. Because you wanna spend $60 on a new game instead of $25 for DLC? Yeah! Assuming Mario Kart 9 would have new tracks, items, characters, and mechanics. But, like, what else is there to add, really? You guys actually want them that? Nintendo fans, when they have to pay $25 for 50 Mario Kart tracks instead of $60 for 30 Mario Kart tracks? <laughs> yeah, honestly. And honestly, to end it off here, this is how this is how to be with Mario Kart. But what is this? I, I saw Nintendo Switch Sports and I was instantly hyped. But what, what are these avatars? What is this? <laughs> this is so 
Then do it, Titan. I'm glad you can use the knees, but oh gosh, no, please, that's not. Yeah, let's. Nope, that's. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. That's all I have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I enjoyed making this because hey, and I'm. I love looking at the salt, but also honestly, I'm really hyped for this Mario Kart DLC, and. Like I said earlier, I'm actually going to be streaming Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on my Twitch tonight. So if you somehow catch this video before 8 p.m. EST, you should go watch my Twitch and go follow my Twitch, join my Discord server, and of course subscribe to this channel and comment what you think and like it. And I'm being a little too quirky right now, so let me chill out a bit. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!